This is not it. This is, what <laughs> You're you missing the one <laughs> opening. You're <laughs> missing. There's you? one opening. This is so funny to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we're doing another piston playground type experiment thing. Uh, but we are not in the piston playground because we need as many frames as we can. I'm gonna be trying to work on a piston based maze. Basically, it's gonna be like an invisible wall maze where you won't know where the walls are until you trigger them and the pistons come down and block you from going. So it's kind of based on like the piston trap ideas um, that I've seen and experimented with, but an entire maze based off of it. And actually, I got this idea from some of you in the comments had uh, requested me to do this. So I've built the template. This is uh, the, the base completely unwalled maze. It's completely open, completely free, but I'm gonna leave this up on the workshop for you guys to use as well so you can build your own mazes with it. And during this video, I'm gonna show you the process of building a maze and how you can do it too. I don't know if my process that I'm thinking of is the most efficient way, because it's a little bit tedious, I think, to uh, try to build this maze. And I'll explain why I have it set up this way in just a bit. But I'm hoping it's gonna work and I'm hoping it's not gonna be too laggy. Okay, so you can see that uh, I have a grid on the floor with a lot of really deep holes here and it's also a very low ceiling requiring me to crouch and the reason why that is is because I don't want you to be able to run fast and I don't want you to be able to jump. That way the pistons have the best chance of trapping you inside the maze. So the reason why I have the floor like this is because the sensors have to trigger the pistons. So if I put a sensor down the bottom, now it because it's recessed like that, you can't see it until you're pretty much on top of the sensor anyway. So that means that when you're walking down, you can't predict where, you can't just look at the ground and then see where the sensors are gonna be, especially once they're all painted black. Uh, they're gonna blend in much better. So that way, you can't really predict, you can't really cheat, I don't think, unless you use your connections, but you know, um, let's never mind about that. What I think the best way to do this, to build a maze, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with a relatively simple one so it doesn't take up too much time. And then you guys can do what you want with it and you can make as many twists and turns and like dead ends and stuff like that. I may or may not use like dead ends and stuff for the sake of this video because I don't want to spend two hours on a time lapse uh, when it's, it's getting kind of late here. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm trying to make it about six wide. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, is the actual walking pathway. It's kind of arbitrary, I don't know why I chose that, but you can change the width of these. You can even change whatever the entrance is. But what I'm thinking is the best way to start off is to actually carve your path with the ceiling. Now what I have in the ceiling here is I actually have a double layered ceiling. So if I make a, an incision like this, you can see that I can put pistons up here. And now what I'm thinking is uh, a piston every two blocks or so. Did I do this right? I hope I did this right. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Uh, that's fine. So if I do a piston every two blocks or so, just like this, then all I have to do is put a two block section on each piston. Now I might be able to get away with doing like a three block thing, but it's easier for me with the sensors as far as like where the, where the sensors are gonna hook up if it's just two, because each sensor is pretty much gonna cover a two block area. So now I can see where my path is gonna be, and then I can do the sensors accordingly. So the sensors are always gonna be one block in from the actual wall itself. And I just realized that before I put this in, I should probably set the sensor, or I should probably set the um, the piston lengths and all that stuff. Cause I think, I think the best way to do it is range two max speed. So we're gonna save that for later. So basically we're going to go through, we're gonna carve it out. Then we're gonna line it with pistons and adjust them. Then we're gonna do the sensors and then we have to paint everything. So I'm just gonna build like a really basic uh, path here. We're gonna go this way and maybe we'll turn this way. Maybe go in a little bit. I don't wanna make this too complicated. There we go. Yeah, so basically you just carve a one block wide path in any direction that you wanna go. And now the tough part though, not the tough part, but the more tedious part is gonna be carving the opposite wall to make it Make sure that it's always gonna be six wide. All right, there we go. So we have one wall. Now we just have to match it with the other side. Hopefully I've done this right. 
and I can just match it over here. So I think I could just leave this section open. Okay, so I think I've just finished doing it. It was a little bit weird because I realized one of the sections I made a little bit too thin. You actually have to have a minimum, if you're gonna make a turn, like a U-turn, you have to have a minimum of 13 blocks wide, so that way you can fit a wall for them to go around the U-turn. And I didn't do that, so I had to make a lot of readjustments. So let's see if I follow it now, does it make sense? All right, I'll reach a wall here, so I have to go this way, then I have to go around this wall. All right, it looks like it's doing well so far. So this is essentially going to be my required area to go. Yep, okay, I think everything lines up. And also the kind of scary part is, if I accidentally carved all the way around a section, I would have dropped off the entire uh, ceiling. But I'm glad I didn't accidentally do that. So now I have to line it with these pistons, every other block. All right, so this is gonna definitely be interesting. I hope this works, but here we go. All right, I think I have every block lined, or every uh, line lined with pistons. So now it's just a matter of setting all the pistons to the right speed and the right length. But really quick, I wanna do a quick test to see if just the default is fast enough. So we're just gonna, oh, I think this is uh, too far in, yet we need to go in one more. So what I'm gonna do is put that there, I'm gonna attach it to that piston, and we're gonna put uh, just a longer, whoop, there we go. Wait, what? Oh, now I gotta put this. Well, we're definitely gonna have to set these to the right lengths. All right, so now am I able to, wait, let's get off of that one. Am I able to get through here? Huh, this might actually work. Wait, is this? Oh, nope, that's at max speed. Here, let's put it at three and three. I think, is that the default? Let's go to one of these. Yeah, three and three. So now let's see if this is fast enough to catch me. Here we go. Huh, I don't know, it's kind of close. I feel like it's a little bit sketchy, but you know what, for the sake of time, I'm gonna leave it at default for now, because it is it is working, but I'm just, I'm not sure if that's gonna be reliable enough. So when you build your own maze, you might need to set all the settings to at least the max speed, and I think two looks better, in my opinion. Oops, that's not two. Yeah, so there's two, because then two is right in front of your face, three, is a little bit low it seems like, but that's up to you, up to your discretion, but I'm gonna leave them all at default for now. All right, excellent. So now all I have to do is line, whoop, where did that go? That, well, I fit perfectly into that hole. Now I just have to line every single one of these pistons with uh, two blocks, just like this. All right, so now I have it lined. So I think all I have to do now is place the sensors and uh, mash them up with the right pistons. Now the sensors, unfortunately, are gonna have to be adjusted manually for every single one. And I just have to make sure that I have the sensors one block in from all of the pistons. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind when you're doing this. So I think first I'm just going to place the sensors and then I'm going to actually make all the adjustments. All right, so I've just finished laying down, I think I finished laying down all the sensors you can see, and I've actually got Moonbow has joined me to help me out with this very, very tedious process. So thanks a lot, man, for hey, joining no me problem. here. Number um, five, number five. <laughs> yeah, he's setting all of the sensors to uh, a distance of five, so that way they don't detect the ceiling, but they do detect you. So I'm thinking pretty much what needs to happen is every single uh, sensor just gets hooked straight up to the piston above it, but there might be some weird things on the corners, uh, which I'm gonna find out right now as I approach the corner. Yeah, so this corner, actually, yeah, so I think the piston, if there's a sensor on the corner, oh, that's not, that's actually gonna be a little bit of an issue, isn't it? Let me see here. Uh-oh. Hmm, this is where logic gates could come in handy. The, uh, yep, so this is one thing that I just discovered is the corners are a little bit more of a tricky spot, but uh, logic gates could solve that problem, but uh, for the sake of this video, we're just gonna skip hooking up the corners because it's more of a, less of a chance that that'll be a problem than just the walls. So yeah, just hook up the pistons directly up to the sensor that is uh, below them, and you should be good to go based off of that. All right, I'm gonna get on to it. 
All right, so we've got everything hooked up, um, but I did have to, for this wall, since we have a single wall here that needs to be activated from both sides of the wall, I had to put logic gates above these sensors. Um, I mean, above these pistons, so that way we can hook up more than one sensor per piston. So that way, if I'm on this side, you can see it comes down, and if Mubo comes in from that side, you can see the same piston Ooh. comes down. All right, so now all that's left to do is we just gotta paint. Uh oh, we lost. Oh. <laughs> Oh. I just, I realized we had yeah, a piston I, over there, and I went to go at it and got blocked by my own maze. Make it a run for it. <laughs> so there's a sensor that we missed <laughs> for uh, the, the distance. All right, so now we just got to paint all of these black, and unfortunately we can't just drag a whole length because each piston has a separate block. So we got to paint every individual set of two blocks here. And then we should be done. Okay, so we have everything hooked up and painted, and we put some stairs on here. So me and Moombo are gonna start at opposite sides of the maze here, and we're gonna see how it works, and hopefully everything works, and uh, let's try to get through the maze. All right, go. All right, here All right. we go. So every um, everything seems pretty innocent. It looks like just an open room. Nothing's really happening. Until, yeah, uh, you're doing really good right I now. I am. Did I did I mess up? Did I screw? I, I feel like. I oh, yep. I forgot to hook up some of these sensors. There we go. That should be better. All right, shall we try this again? <laughs> yeah, let's do this again. All right, take two. Now again, the, the, um, I kind of took some shortcuts on this maze uh, with building it, so it could be improved, it could be fine-tuned a lot more to make it much more efficient at blocking you. For instance, all the pistons could be set to max speed. Um, that's probably the major thing right now that is uh, preventing, or that is allowing for you to glitch through, is that they're not set at max speed. But, let's go ahead and try to make our way through here, see if it does any better. So it seems like it, it is possible for the maze to work oh. with the pistons just at their standard um, setting. It's definitely working for me right now if I don't go too fast. Oh, there, there's the wall. Oh, here we go. We're oh, going to hey. be crossing paths oh, here. Cross paths. Oh, 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 and yep, there's a wall here. Where's it gonna go? Oh, All right. dead end? Where am I? What? Did you get, did you get lost? Are you stuck? I think there was a little, am I, I'm kind of lost here. Apparently you That's are. That's a corner. Do I just, oh. Oh, Here I think you go. might have actually Yay. gotten on the outside of it. But yeah, all right, so there it is. That actually works. So Khan is actually going to join us. He's, he hasn't seen the maze, whereas me and Mumbo had already seen it. We're going to see how Khan does on the maze in just a second here. Let me send him a message. So Khan just spawned right in the middle of the maze, so he can't even get... It's a good maze, isn't it? It trapped you inside pretty well, huh? Oh, wow. so good. I don't even know... All right, I'm gonna have to unweld it from the ground then. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so I've determined that the maze is very laggy when it is not welded onto anything. I'm trying to weld it in the direction I'm facing. Yeah, right okay, where you are. You so if I need to move over this way. There we okay. go. All right. Yeah, you're out of the way. <laughs> you're just floating through the air like a ballerina. <laughs> well, I have an idea. Do we, can we? Uh, do we need to? Maybe there we go. I got it. Oh. oh, you got it. Oh, it is so much better. Are you oh, guys, here comes the has it not walk. happened for you guys yet? Yep, you're definitely there doing the moonwalk. Khan's still stuck here. Are you, you okay, Khan? Khan? He's, uh, he's, he's gone unresponsive, Moonbow. You can choose a side, Khan, but um, like, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna like let you know right now, this is not an optimized maze. The pistons could be set faster, but I was too lazy to do them all, so they're all at the default setting. <laughs> so, so just, just walk kind of cautiously when you go through. And uh, I'll actually wait by the finish. Hold on, don't go yet, don't go yet. I wanna see it, wait, I wanna why see am I it. Choosing this side compared to the, is there a difference between the sides? Nope. nope. Just don't All look right. down, don't All look right, down. All right, go for it, Khan. Yeah, just don't go too fast, you, you might you might glitch out. Oh, all right, all right, you've reached, you've reached one part, one wall. Okay, well, I'm just gonna follow this wall. I feel like I'm not supposed to, oh, okay, go, no. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what? Where, where am I, what, I'm, what? Okay, okay, no, this this way, clearly. What? All right, you're, I, I don't even know if you're in the uh -oh, maze or uh -oh. if you've glitched through or not. Did I, glitch I feel like you glitched through. Yeah. <laughs> you well, might I'm have like glitched through. I'm running now. I'm yeah, you just went, you just went, you, just went that, you might actually not be able to get back in. Oh, okay. No, no, no yeah, okay. starting okay. over. Okay, walk slower. Walk slower, dang it. <laughs> How do I walk slower in this game? Is there a um, inch. Like, d just do gradual just pushes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, well, I know this is a wall, <laughs> so we're just gonna... 
Ow, ow, they like <laughs> you and then they like push you Yeah, they bump direction. you good. Okay, well, I'm just gonna follow this one. Okay, what? Hello? Yeah, that's a wall. <laughs> yeah, go. Oh, oh. You know, I really should just be drawing oh. this out on paper as I like, as like... <laughs> Okay, where the... I know where you are too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're. There's I mean, a like, there's like there's a U-turn. The there's a U-turn right near you. <laughs> there's a, this is not. A, this is. What you you're mean? missing the one opening. You're <laughs> missing. There's it? one opening. This is so funny to watch. <laughs> yeah, <what do> you <laughs> have? Uh, I think he okay, just got well, pushed out. No, right. he's in. He's in. Uh, oh, you are. Okay. Am All right. Here. Start? I'm stuck at the start. All right. You went. You went back to the beginning. Really? Okay. Get get out here. Okay. I'm gonna follow this wall. Oh, where's it? Moonbo, get out of the way. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, okay, this wall, that. Okay, this wall goes here. Okay. What about this? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I, I'm following this wall still. Okay. Uh huh. See, every maze is solvable as long as you continue to follow one wall forever. Oh, there we go. See, that's where I was screwing up. I had to go that way. Okay, and then right. I gotta go this way. Okay, all right. Okay. Oh, Wait, yeah. I think you might be on the outside of it. No, oh, he's yeah. not. Are you sure? Don't... Yeah, trust me. The depth perception is way Okay, off yeah, it's really hard for me to see are. where he is. No, even when I'm standing right close to him, it looks like he's way off. Okay, no, th then I go this way. This is actually hard to look at after a while. <laughs> okay. There's so many squares. Oh, it is actually working. You know what? I don't even think oh. I knew what side you started oh. on. All right, you did yeah. it. You did it. That yeah. actually worked. It worked, oh, people. Actually, it worked. That's you had a hard time, Ken. I yeah, I mean, now. ideally... Path than I made it. Yeah, oh, it yeah. was... It, there was no dead ends or anything. It was literally just a straight... Not a straight path, but it was just a path. <laughs> I kept spinning around inside that like big U-turn thing. It was it felt like a box. All right. So what what we've determined uh, the learning process through this is that ideally you want the pistons at max speed, and you want each piston to have its own logic gate set to an OR gate, so that way you can hook up as many sensors as you need to the pistons. Because our corners were a little bit sketchy because we couldn't really hook up more than one pist more than one sensor on a corner to a piston, so we kind of just skipped that. So um, True. yeah. There's the advice for when you when you if you download the template to make your own maze, then um, that's that's probably what you want to do if you want to make sure nobody can cheat. Um, if you want to cheat, obviously you can just use your connection tool and follow the blue lines, but um, that's no fun. Boring. Yep. Well, uh, well, Mumbo and Connor are getting lost in in the maze of emotion here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Let me know what you guys thought of the piston maze And I hope you guys download it and make your own awesome Creations and complicated maze things and maybe even have any some better ideas on how to make it even better But I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did leave a comment down below Let me know what other cool piston creations or other scrap mechanic creations you guys want to see This has been scrap man, and I'll see you next time. Bye Oh yeah, and go check out their channels as well, because these guys, uh, what? they're cool, they're cool too. <laughs> Welcome to the end screen, well you'll probably click away before I get to tell you to subscribe for more fun, and if you really like me, but like not in a creepy way, support me on Patreon. Oh yeah, check out this awesome video I made over here, it's probably even better than this one, or it might be worse actually, but if you don't click it, I guess you'll never know.